Hi all, I've got a quick one for you guys today. You've probably installed ENSP v1.3 on your computer and you might have been trying out a few of the devices and noticed that a couple of them don't start up straight away. They'll ask you to browse and import a image file. Now Huawei didn't make all the images available with ENSP 1.3 for some or other reason but I do have them so if you want to get them you can get them from the download link in the description of this video. Now the devices in question that do not have proper support in ENSP 1.3 will be the NE series of routers, the CX router, the CE series of switches and the USG 6000 firewall. Now if you download them from me all you need to do is just unzip them and keep those folders in a place in your hard drive where you're probably not going to move them around or touch them again. And then all you need to do is just drag in one of the devices that doesn't start up on its own properly, right click and say start on it and then you will get prompted to browse for the image file. Just browse for wherever you put it on your hard drive, go to the one that's got the correct name based on the device that you just dragged in and select it. It'll then copy into ENSP and once it finishes copying you'll be able to right click on the device again and choose start. It may take a while for the device to start up so just be patient. Even if you have got a good CPU it could take a while. I'll fast forward this to save you a bit of time. Once it starts up you will be able to run the display version command and check the device's VRP version number as well as the device's model number there. Now you will be able to use that device when you are busy playing around and learning. I'll show you one of the CE switches as well. Pretty much the same process as one of the NE routers. I'll let you finish off all the NE routers on your own. Now one of the slightly different ones you just need to be aware of, but nothing majorly complicated, is the USG 6000 firewall. When you drag that in and try and start it, it'll ask you to browse for the appropriate file. And when you do browse for it, what will happen is you will be looking at a virtualbox.vdi file instead of a .img file as you had been looking at for all the previous devices. Just choose to open it and import it as you have the previous devices and they will be working fine then. You will just need to start it up and wait a bit again. And you should be presented with the firewalls login screen. And then you'll be able to practice some of Huawei's security setups for proper network firewalls. I hope you guys found this helpful and we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Have a good one.